guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple of years ago, I attempted to use this planner and let's not be coy about it, it's in the title of the video. It's the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets Planner, notebook, goal setting, device of magic. So I tried to use it a few years ago with Alex and we had started it out. We did all of the like intro pages to figure out goals and plans. And then when it got to actually making the goals, we just didn't and it didn't go anywhere. And it just kind of died in its tracks. It really, it really bummed me out, honestly. And so I'm giving it another go this year. Keep me accountable, guys. Like, be there. Be like, Kayla, have you done your power sheets recently? And I also want to do it along with you. So once I, like, talk about the planner, what's it about? This, I keep calling it a planner. It says planner. So we can call it a planner. Once we like dive into what it's all about, I actually want to switch over to starting on it. If there's anything private that I don't feel comfortable sharing, I won't share that, but I think maybe working through it with you guys and starting to discuss goals and maybe you helping me figure out like what things I should focus on could be a really helpful thing. So if it's not in this video, if this video gets too long, I will do another video of me like working on it, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll start in this one. Regardless, this rambling doesn't help. So if you're new to the Cultivate What Matters world, the resources beyond this planner are insane. There are so many groups and emails and the company does so well at helping you. So I'm probably gonna really rely on those as well to focus and achieve your goals. Also, if you follow Plan with Lakin, I'm sure you do. She's one of my very best friends. She is a fantastic goal setter and she uses Cultivate What Matters and the um, Power Sheets and she's like really good at it and actually accomplishes things. So definitely go check her out if you haven't already. What are you doing with your life? She's fantastic. What I love most about this planner system is the pages in the beginning. Even though Alex and I did not get much farther than those, I feel like just even talking about these things and really focusing on them and trying to figure yourself out was hugely beneficial. So it starts off with like asking you about yourself. Like, are you affectionate? Are you a person who really likes affirming words? Like, what are your love languages? What are things that you think are getting in the way or things you can't do? And why do you think that? What are some of your fears and why do you have them? And it really just helps you through discovering what's holding you back and what you think is holding you back, but what actually like isn't, and it's pretty magical. There are pages that ask you like what brings you joy, what fires you up, what motivates you, what excites you, and I just love the activity, like the, the process of figuring out these things and really acknowledging the stuff that makes me happy rather than just kind of knowing it like, oh, I, I like crafting, but like, Crafting brings me such deep, passionate joy that I am just like smiling while I'm making tiny trees. Like it's ridiculous how much joy it brings me. But these pages really help me to acknowledge that and realize that these things charge me up and give me happiness. My absolute favorite page is this one. So it's a cultivated life evaluation where you rank the various aspects of your life on a one to 10 scale and then respond why you think that is. So it looks at health, friends, your spouse or your like focal relationship, the one you focus on, your family, finances, personal growth, work and recreation. I love this. I love being able to like make an audit of your life and be like, okay, so my friends, I'm doing great. I feel like I have my tribe, but my health is shit and I really need to focus on that. And you just gotta be honest with yourself. I think that's the biggest thing with this planner and all planning and goal setting. Be honest with yourself. Like I was a complete and total like piece of crap when I tried this before. Like you gotta be kind to yourself. Like I, I forgive myself for that. But like you have to also acknowledge the fact that you know you better than anyone else, so you need to be honest. If your finances aren't where they need to be, instead of just being like, it'll be fine, it's, it's fine, it's fine, really pay attention to that. That's something Alex and I really struggled with is we didn't know what we were putting our finances to for our businesses. We didn't know what was going out versus what was coming in. And it's scary to sit down and really figure out how much things are costing you every month and like what that is, at least for us, it was really, really hard 
but we did it and we worked through that painful thing. And now we know the exact amount of money we need to make to cover the cost of our employees. And like just doing that and really like staring your yourself in the face is the weirdest sentence I've said, but like, I love this about it. And it's so kind the way it does it. It's not like you're a piece of crap, figure this out. That's just me personifying it. It's like, okay, maybe these aren't the strongest parts of your life, but we're going to work on it. And it feels like a tool and a partnership and all those groups and emails. It feels like you're not alone in the goal setting. And I just love that. So there are a bunch of pages at the beginning that you work through to figure out what your goals are, figure out where you want your next year to go. And then it moves into the planner monthly pages. So the first one is a prepare well page where you have your important to do's, what you're excited for, what you're thinking about, what you're hopeful for. There's a monthly calendar. And I think in that I might do like my fitness tracking because I think that is a goal I really want for next year or health tracking, maybe using that space to track that information like meals or something. There are so many helpful pages in here. So this is a how to make attending list. So put your attending list somewhere you'll see it. Don't feel like you need to fill out every line. It just gives you so much advice and helps you along the way. And then you get to your brainstorm of the month. So your monthly ideas and the things you wanna try and accomplish during the weeks, and then your encouraging words and what goals and stuff you're focusing on. And then you have priority progress bars that you can fill in. You round out the month with a month in review and really focus on things that you're grateful, good things that happened that month, maybe things you want to improve on, what you're saying no to and what you're saying yes to, which I just love that so much. And then it goes on to the next month. They also have quarterly check-ins where you go back and you think about where are you at since the beginning of all these little areas of your life and trying to help you refresh and repurpose and rework your goals to make them continue to work for you. So there's a section every quarter in the like monthly view pages that walk you through a reevaluation phase. And at the end of the year, you have a year in review. I love the colors. It's just so bright and fun and positive and uplifting. So you can write down things that you've really enjoyed reading, the people you're most grateful for. And it's all about progress, not perfection, which is something I feel like most of us struggle with. I still struggle with it. And if I like miss a day or two, I'm like, oh, well, there it goes. I can't continue. So the idea that it's constantly about making progress and growing and not being perfect. I love that. So if you're considering trying to set goals or you've had problems in the past, like I have setting and keeping goals, this could be a really good option for you to kind of help guide you and stay focused. And I'm going to be doing it so we can do it together and try and pursue this progress, not perfection together. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to start working on this. I think I'll do it in another video because this one's gotten a little long, but I'm going to begin the intro pages and work through that. We can work through that together and really focus on improving ourselves and progress, not perfection. I'm going to just try and get that into my brain, just say it over and over and over again. And we can work on that together. So let me know what you think of this planner or notebook in the comments. Are there other goal setting planners out there that you enjoy or you find to be really good? and compatible or similar to this one, let me know that too, because maybe there's a system out there that might work better than this one for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can see my videos of me working on this, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.